from food that looks like the grossest bugs imaginable to actual bugs that people eat for god knows what reason, there are a lot of very bizarre foods that arguably came from another universe. Or the people that for some reason desire to eat them came from another universe. Either way, here are your top 10 bizarre foods that came from a parallel universe. I'm Alyssa Mladi, your host, and let's get right into it. In our number 10 spot, we have coconut tree grub. Alright, well, this food looks just like maggots. Just why, humans? What would possess someone to eat something that looks like this? Like, really, the first person that stumbled across this was like, hmm, yes, this looks delightful. I shall cook it under a hot fire and it will be delightful. No. You can't convince me that humans reacted to this that way. This was clearly discovered by some kind of reptilian person and pushed onto the masses. Or it was brought here from another dimension. Coconut tree grub can be found in the Peru jungle in, you guessed it, coconut trees. Apparently they are protein rich and taste scrumptious when cooked. Nope. I refuse to believe this. In our number nine spot, we have giant sea squirt. Giant sea squirt can be found in Santiago, Chile, off the coast. And apparently these creatures known as Pura are as big as basketballs. Look, your girl's not really into seafood, but really what in the name of my great aunt Sally is this? Honestly though, anything with a spongy like texture gives me the heebie jeebies, so again, I'm a little bit biased. It's little bubble like corpuscles make me so uncomfortable to look at it. Please leave a comment below and tell me why you think this looks edible if you do. Vice.com referred to it as looking like an alien living under a rock, and I would have to agree. In our number eight spot, we have Pololo. Not sure I understand why anyone would eat a worm-like creature in the first place, but alas, humans still do, and I shall continue to be dumbfounded. Pololo are little worm-like creatures with lots of legs that honestly give them an alien-like look, of course, from the sea. They're basically worms from another dimension. They can be blue or brown in color. They come out of the coral reefs every few years or so when the conditions are right, and when they do, they are apparently treated like a delicacy to the people along the coast of Samoa where they are usually found. People apparently eat them raw, saying that they taste like liver fermented in salt water. Come again? <laughs> How does that sound appetizing to anyone? I don't understand. People also eat them sauteed or on bread. Yeah, I'll pass, thanks. In our number seven spot, we have horse rib and rectum sausage. Yes, you heard that right. In Kazakhstan, the people eat horses, and I must conclude that it's possible that they are not from our dimension. I mean, certainly not our continent, because I don't know any people that eat horses here. Although I don't leave my home very often, so I may be very ignorant. <laughs> Apparently the people of Kazakhstan don't like to waste any part of the animal, so they eat everything from the mane to the rectum. One of their known dishes, a sausage made from whole pieces of rib meat from the horse, seasoned with salt and pepper, and then stuffed with casings from the horse's butt, and it's dried to cure. Apparently it is a very normal dish in Central Asia. One that I will probably never try. In our number six spot, we have the sea cucumber. The sea cucumber looks like it would be food for another species, let alone for humans in this dimension. I could also imagine another parallel universe where the animals and plants on land are just too dangerous to eat because we've infected them with all of our nuclear testing, that we have to result to eating that which is deep, deep in the ocean, and so therefore, you know, then we have to result to eating sea cucumbers instead of regular cucumbers. Hopefully that doesn't happen because something tells me it probs doesn't taste the same. <laughs> the sea cucumber is found off the waters of Sitka, Alaska. Apparently you just throw it on a wok and pour some soy sauce on it and we're good to go, honey. There's so many different pictures of it that it looks like it can appear in many different ways, but most frequently, to put it bluntly, it kind of just looks like a giant turd. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> in our number five spot, we have tarantulas. 
The people of Cambodia eat tarantulas. They must not watch any Hollywood movies and fair enough, they probably have their own entertainment with their own brand of propaganda, but holy moly is this terrifying. They eat giant tarantulas y'all. Apparently when cooked properly, they can be as good as lobster, as hard as that is to imagine. After they are defanged, washed and then scorched to remove the hair and then deep fried. They're apparently good, but still, isn't it bothersome to look at their legs and shape? I'm probably too influenced by American pop culture. I'm not even sure I'm convinced anyone from a parallel universe would eat these creatures though. I can get on board with people from another planet, but anyways. In our number four spot, we have giraffe weevils. Don't let the name confuse you. This isn't a dish made from an actual giraffe. Giraffe weevils are bugs that have extremely long necks that make them the giraffes of the bug world. They are basically beetles and people have said that they look like something out of a Dr. Seuss novel. They are from Madagascar and people like to saute them in salt water and butter. Apparently they have a taste similar to shrimp. Anyways, I think they jumped into this dimension from another one because the idea of a long neck bug just feels surreal to me. So we're gonna go with that. In our number three spot, we have Incitae. Look, this is a plant, and even though it's not that bizarre to eat plants, I'm going to include this one because it's not widely known and perhaps bizarre to someone from North America or Europe that has never heard of it. This is a plant that is known to be a part of the false banana family, which basically means it's close to a banana, but it isn't. <laughs> it's only eaten in one area of Ethiopia, and it is considered a superfood there, which is quite interesting. And the people make it into a bread, and they love it. I'm a big banana fan, so I hope I get to try this one one day. In our number two spot, we have camel kebabs. I don't know why I am fascinated by the fact that I really didn't know that this was a thing. I mean, it makes sense that people eat this as it's as common in some areas as cows are in other areas. But yeah, it is regularly eaten in the Middle East and in North Africa. People find camel kebabs to be delicious. Apparently the kebabs consist of the organs such as the liver and testicles, which are sauteed and the fat goes into the meat grinder before everything is made into a kebab. This really feels like an idea from an alien or someone from another dimension, but it's probably because living in North America is like living in another dimension when you go to the Middle East. It's just such a different world. Ah. So much to learn, so little time. In our number one spot, we have octopus ink sacks. Yes, you heard that correctly. I know what you're probably thinking. Don't octopuses use their ink sacs to ward off predators? Would it not therefore be poisonous? It surprised me to hear that apparently not. Apparently you have to first poach the ink sac and then fry it. Typically it was eaten by sponge divers who were away at sea for months that they had to make do with whatever food they caught. It is a very known dish in the island of Kalamnos. However, it is hard to find because it's from another dimension. Dun, dun, dun. Shipping through the dimensions is just quite difficult. But honestly, unless it would somehow make me lucky, I would never eat an octopus ink sack ever. Okay, I probably could be persuaded if I was offered a home in Monaco or you know, given a million dollars or something. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'm Melissa Mladi, your host. Follow me on Insta and YouTube at Melissa Mladi and I will see you next time. I hope that you have the greatest day. Good day.